Today we're going to demonstrate the Evolve and Zoom Digital Asset Management System. Zoom is the fastest and most comprehensive DAM solution available. It provides an intuitive user interface, complete visual version control, plugins for your favorite creative tools, an iterative workflow engine to automate your processes, analytics to provide real-time business relevant metrics, collaboration through the web-based Lightbox feature, and integrated archiving to better manage your storage. Leverage all of your digital media content with Evolve and Zoom. Front-end deduplication is a feature in Zoom that reduces the amount of storage needed to store multiple versions of files. Let's illustrate the differences between storing files in a traditional storage system and storing files using Zoom. First, let's load a single asset. In this case, a file that is 100 megabytes in size. After we make our first revision and commit it back to the system, we notice that in a traditional environment, they are storing the entire file again, plus some additional information using up about 105 megabytes in space. Conversely, Zoom is only storing the changes that were made to the file. The same process holds true for each subsequent version that is added to the system. Pretty soon we have 580 megabytes of storage dedicated to one single asset. Taking advantage of deduplication, Zoom stores the original asset plus a very small amount of additional information. Extrapolate that across the hundreds or thousands of files that are generated annually, and you can see how much savings that Zoom can provide. A working copy is a copy of an asset that is stored on your local computer for the purpose of creating a new revision of the file. To start editing a file, simply select the file, right click, and select Checkout. Zoom will automatically create a local working copy folder on your machine, appropriately called Evolve and Zoom. The working copy folder is monitored by Zoom for modifications. Users can access files directly from the working copy folder, and Zoom will also display icons that show the current status of the asset in relation to the version that is stored in the Zoom repository. There are five basic asset statuses in Zoom. Within the asset browser, you will see these indicator tags just below the thumbnail of the asset. Similar designations are provided when you view your assets in your local working copy folder with the Mac Finder or Windows Explorer tools. An asset that is up to date is designated by a green tag and means that the working copy of that asset on your local machine is the latest version of the file. A red tag signifies an asset that needs to be committed to Zoom. In other words, the working copy on your local machine is newer than the latest version on the server and needs to be added to Zoom. A blue down arrow signifies that the version on your local machine is older than the server version and that you should update your local copy before you make any revisions. Simply right click and select update to accomplish this. A yellow triangle tag indicates that there is a conflict with the specified asset. Typically this can happen when a user revises an older working copy when there is already an update on the server. Zoom provides a conflict dialog to resolve this issue by either accepting your local version or by updating your local version with the newer file. When viewing an asset in your local working copy folder, notice that an unversioned file has no tags or colors. This is because it does not yet exist on the server and needs to be either committed or imported to Zoom. Zoom makes it as easy as possible to make changes to assets and commit new versions using your favorite creative tools. If you already have a local working copy of a file, you can simply right click to open it in the registered creative program. Notice how the Zoom plugin panel will be displayed within your work area. The red light green light theme is repeated here in the plugin to ensure you are aware of the status of your local working copy in relation to the latest revision in the repository. The plugin provides you access to all of the common features required to make revisions to assets. Before editing an asset, you can follow best practices by obtaining a lock for the asset. The lock will ensure that when you are editing a file that no other users can commit new versions. You can now edit your asset, which we will do by removing several layers. Once you have made changes to an asset and save your changes, you will notice that the light has turned red, indicating that your local copy is now newer than the current server version. You can now click Commit to send your revisions to the repository. When you commit, you will be prompted to add any comments or keywords that you wish to associate with this revision. You can now release the lock and move on to your next task. 
The Zoom Smart Copy feature allows users to easily make duplicates of existing assets based on any version of the asset. They can also create smart copies of groups of assets, entire folders, or entire projects. By selecting an asset or a folder, right-clicking, and selecting Smart Copy, a dialog will open that will allow you to choose which project folder to place the copy in and the ability to provide a new file name. Smart Copy takes advantage of Zoom's deduplication technology, which allows you to save a new asset without duplicating the storage requirements. The net result is a more efficient development process, less work for the creative team, and smaller storage requirements. The Asset Browser is a tool that allows you to visually access, manage, modify, and distribute your assets. The Asset Browser has been redesigned to allow users to easily perform all of the functions necessary to complete their day-to-day -day tasks. It is divided up into a series of panels that provide a variety of views and information about your assets. On the left-hand side is the Path Navigator that allows you to drill down into your folder structure to locate your projects and assets. Below the Path Navigator is a panel that provides easy access to favorite assets. You can simply drag and drop an asset or an entire folder onto this panel. The center panel provides a visual view into the contents of your folders. Thumbnails and customizable metadata are provided as well as the ability to easily view a high-res preview. Various tools are available on the top row of the center panel. This allows easy access to each of the functions necessary to work with your assets. In the bottom of the center panel is the revisions panel. This allows you to view and access each of the previous versions of an asset and also provides an easy method to make a previous version the current version. On the left side is the metadata panel, which allows you to view and update file properties, IPTC core, digital rights management, EXIF, and custom user metadata fields. Below the metadata panel is the keywords panel that allows you to create user or administrator defined keyword hierarchies. By clicking the links tab, we have access to the links panel. This allows you to easily view relationships between your assets and navigate easily between them. On the bottom right side is the collections panel. This provides easy access to user defined and shared collections. These collections can be a fixed set of assets or based on filters to dynamically collect all assets that meet your criteria. Along the top of the asset browser are additional tools that assist in managing your assets. These include locking and unlocking assets, checking out and committing assets, as well as the ability to download assets in a variety of administrator-defined formats. You also have access to the version comparison tool that allows you to view two assets or two versions of the same asset side by side. This enables you to easily distinguish the differences between the files. Finally, in the upper right corner, you have quick access to the settings dialog. This allows you to change your default views, turn on and off some functions, and choose which metadata fields to display in the center panel. The Zoom search panel provides a full set of search functionality, including saved and recent searches, as well as the ability to use Boolean operators in your searches. Using the advanced options, you can search on any metadata field, revision information, or restrict your search to specific projects, folders, or subfolders. Users can collaborate with other stakeholders by using the Zoom Lightbox feature. The Zoom Lightbox enables your creative team to forward individual or a group of assets to a web-enabled program that allows reviewers to provide feedback to the creative team. You can choose which files to send to any Lightbox user by adding them to the shopping cart. You then access the shopping cart menu and select Create Lightbox. After giving the Lightbox a name and some instructions, you can determine who the recipients of the specific Lightbox will be by selecting either a group of reviewers, an individual, or several individual reviewers, and selecting Submit. Each of the named recipients will then receive an email notifying them of an asset that requires their attention. The email will provide them with a link to the Lightbox tool, which will enable them to log in and view all of the Lightboxes that have been assigned to them. By double-clicking on an asset, a preview is generated that allows users to view the asset in their browser without needing any creative programs installed. They may now add annotations and comments to the preview in order to collaborate with the creative team on changes that they would like to see. Multiple users can add annotations and comments simultaneously, and they will be displayed in real time. Reviewer comments will be date and time stamped and displayed on the preview as well as the comments summary below. If you wish to add additional notes to an existing comment, 
you can click on the reply button to expose the conversation view. Once your review is complete, you can move on to the next asset or exit out of the browser. You can also annotate and comment on video files on a frame by frame basis. You can simply start the video and stop it in any place to insert a comment. This will make it simple for the video editor to locate all of the comments when re-editing the file. Web users can also download assets from the Lightbox by selecting the download button. This will allow them to download assets in any format that has been predefined by the Zoom administrator. Zoom workflow provides an easy to use yet comprehensive method to automate all facets of your creative process. Zoom provides a visual workflow designer, iterative reviews, automatic routing and notification, and an easy to use task manager. Workflows are designed and managed in the web management console using the visual workflow designer. On the left side, you can see all of your existing workflows, and below that is a list of workflow templates. You have the ability to define each step in your process using the icons on the right hand side. Notice that one of the icons on the right is labeled Auto, which stands for Autotask. This allows workflow designers to add an automation step to the workflow. Predefined executables can be assigned to an Autotask to perform any previously manual task automatically. Once defined, you can then assign tasks and reviews to individuals or groups, set expiration dates or timeframes. You can also access each job or task to assign assets and define job or task specific metadata. Creative users consume their tasks with the Zoom Task Manager, and approvers use the web approval tool to approve or reject tasks and provide feedback for revisions. The Task Manager enables the creative team to easily sort, prioritize, and classify their assigned tasks. By clicking on Job Details, they can see all of the information regarding a specific job, including each step in the job, metadata, and job notes, as well as statuses, due dates, and owners. Once a user is ready to work on a task, they simply accept the selected task and the asset will be checked out, locked, and opened in the registered application for that file type. Once the user is finished editing the file and committing it back to the Zoom repository, they can submit the selected task. This will open a new dialog that allows them to attach the latest revisions to the workflow. The task is now complete and will move along to the next defined step in the workflow. Reviewers use a Zoom Lightbox to approve or reject assets. Each of the review tasks and due dates will be shown along the left-hand side and can include one or many assets as defined in the workflow job. Double-clicking on a thumbnail will bring up the asset in markup mode. The reviewer can then add annotations such as arrows and circles and can add comments in an effort to provide the creative team with information for the next iteration. After making annotations and comments, the reviewer can now reject the asset using the red X at the top left of the screen and the task will follow the rejection path as defined in the workflow. If the asset is to be approved, the reviewer selects the green check mark and the asset will move forward to the next step in the workflow. The Zoom Analytics module provides all of the key information necessary to run your creative team. Real-time business relevant metrics from key performance indicators as well as job, task, and user metadata information are provided in both charts and tabular reports. The dashboard can be customized by projects, periods, jobs, job type, or template type. Each of the charts allows managers to drill down and customize the information that is presented. Progress reports are provided to aid in decision making and ensure that critical jobs will get done on time. Thank you for allowing us to present the Evolve and Zoom solution to you. If you have any questions, please contact your sales or support rep. 